Yes. Come on. Okay, so, um, do you... Uh, my full name is uh, Christopher William Gerard Hewton. Uh, I've coached um, six uh, teams, all in England. Uh, five as a uh, head coach okay. and uh, one as an uh, assistant. Um, I was at Tottenham Hotspur for a long time, 14 and a half years as a coach and probably uh, nine years of that as an assistant, um, first team coach. Uh, after that I went to Newcastle United and um, had a, a very successful time there gaining promotion. From there I went on to Birmingham City for one year, from there I went on to Norwich Norwich City in the Premier League for mm -hmm. two seasons. Then my longest spell was at Brighton and Hove Albion where we were fortunate enough to get a promotion to the Premier League. And my last club in England was Nottingham Forest. And the biggest player that I've ever coached is, is always a very difficult question because sometimes there can be a, a player that has a higher profile but there mm -hmm. can be a player that does the best for you. Um, but in my first manager job, head coach job in, in Newcastle United. We had some big players because the team had just been relegated from, from the Premier League. Players like Michael Owen was there, Nicky Butts, uh, Colaccini, three Argentinian players playing at, um, at the time. Um, so, so probably in that time there, that was my big experience of, of coaching as a head coach, yeah. as a head coach. I'm passionate about football because um, this was my upbringing. I, I played football from as long as I can remember and the dream for all of us was to be professional players. So once you get to that stage, you have very much got to make the, the most of it and show that passion. And, and irrespective of, of any player that, uh, that you see, they have to be passionate about what they do. Um, I would have to say my all-time greatest uh, Ghanaian footballer would be Michael Essien. Um, one, because he was in London, so I saw a lot of him um, when he played. I've had the pleasure to meet him on a, a few occasions and to, to speak with him. Um, but he was a very, very influential player in, in I think, what was the turnaround in, um, in what we're seeing now at, at the Chelsea Football Club. Well, probably my favourite Ghanaian uh, food, uh, chicken and, and jollof rice, is I, I, I knew and had tasted anyway. Um, but I've had fufu since I've been here. Mm. And, uh, it's been done in, in, in different ways, um, but that's one that I've got to really enjoy. Uh, no, I've, I've not been tempted and, and I probably won't be tempted. I, I, I think I, I will leave that to the experts. Um, for me, the profession I thought about um, before I became a footballist is, is, is quite easy. My, my background was very different. When I left school, I, I, I'd been at Tottenham Hotspur for some three, four years. They didn't offer me apprenticeship forms. So I'd done a four-year apprenticeship as an engineer okay. from 16 to 20. But I stayed on at Tottenham during that period of time. I finished that apprenticeship and um, signed full-time professional for Tottenham. And, Fortunately, got into the team straight away. It's it's about working hard. Um, never be accused of not wanting it enough or not working hard enough. And if you are not to get there, or if you are to fail, make sure it's because you didn't try hard enough. So try as hard as you can. Listen to your coaches, and in the difficult periods and the down periods, uh, never give up.